knowing about God's Word and knowing God are two totally different things. They, are, they oppose one another. What would you say would be the furthest distance in this room? It is from your head to your heart. It's about 14 inches. That is the furthest distance in this room. Is you're hearing it with your head. But will you let it travel that 14 inches to get to your heart? A person who knows about God is the most dangerous Christian you will ever meet. Because if they know about God, they will judge you for what you don't know. But if they know God, they will not judge you because they understand his mercy. Because to really and truly let that drop, that knowledge drop from your head to your heart, you have to first understand, I needed mercy. Because if you don't grasp that you need mercy, you just gonna hang on to the knowledge because it puffs you up. But if I understand I need mercy and I let it drop into my heart, now all of a sudden when I walk into my workplace, I'll have mercy on them. When I'm driving down the road and I'm at the red light and the light has been green and the person in front of me is texting <clears throat> and I need to go somewhere, I won't give them the finger. I won't cuss them out. I won't even say anything. I will stop myself from thinking anything because I understand I've done it too. That's powerful, okay? Because it's not just about what I said or did. It's about what did you think? Can you do what has been asked of you? Can you handle the situation that's your way? Can you handle it without blowing up inside? The only way you're going to be able to do that is let the Word of God drop that 14 inches, okay? Can I tell you heaven and hell are separated by that 14 inches? Because there's a lot of people going to end up in hell with a lot of knowledge about God. How do I know if the Word of God is in my head or in my heart? Because that's what I need to know, okay? How do I know if it's traveling that 14 inches or is there still a great divide? Knowing God in your head will make you trust in your own knowledge of God. But knowing God in my heart will make me trust Him. I may not know every scripture, but I know Him. I got Him out of that one scripture, and that's enough to get me through my week. I don't have to know everything that you know. I'm not competing with you. I'm trying to complete you. Because if you learn a scripture and get it in your heart, and let me learn one and get it in my heart, now we can chase two devils. And if one can chase a thousand, two can chase ten. I'm trying to help somebody up in the house of God this morning, okay? I'm trying to help you to know how to get that devil off of your back. And it will not be by the word that you quote. It will be by the God that you know.